What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big D West 95. Sorry, I got a little bit of cold here, but today we're doing a, a short video on the um, the Lone Wolf District flash hider for the uh, a 9mm and 40 caliber uh, pistols for Glock barrels. Uh, I picked this up off Brown Brownell's website for about $18.99, and I figured I got a threaded barrel. I'm not really uh, looking to invest into a expensive compensator or pay the tax stamp for the silencer so just wanted to get something on the barrel and we decided to go out and see how well it hides a muzzle flash at night so i just took a couple shots here and uh we'll see what happened all right so it's cold and and wet and dark outside i just want to do a quick little video here um i got this lone wolf tactical flash hider off brownell's website for about what, 18 bucks. We're just gonna shoot at night here to see if it actually uh, makes the flash a little, little less bright. We'll see. Without the flash hider, and this is with the flash hider. It doesn't really do too much. Oh, and here's the light I got. Pretty bright. And has the strobe setting. Not too shabby. All right, God bless, guy. Bye. So it actually, at night when I was seeing with my own eyes, I didn't think that it was that big of a difference. After watching the footage back, it actually does pretty well. It. Uh, I had people behind me while I was shooting, and they said, number one, the sound it pushes the sound kind of down range more because of the cone, I guess, of uh, the muzzle brake. So obviously the weapon's clear. I just want to check real quick. No mag in. So that that's cool. And then also you can kind of see burnt gunpowder without the muzzle, without the flash hider. So that was, it doesn't happen when the flash hider's on. Also just overall the flash isn't as large. So you with the, with the human eye, at a distance, you'll probably notice it up close while I'm holding the handgun here. It was it was hard to notice, but after rewatching the video, like I, I think I even said in the footage, like it didn't do much. But after rewatching it, eighteen ninety nine, I think this is great. So, yeah, this is awesome. Lone Wolf District is the is the name brand of the uh, flash hider. So, I love it. It looks great on the gun. Um, I've been running these. These P mags, the P mag 17, and then I got the, the 27 rounder I just picked up. Just trying to like get the spring tension down a little bit. It's kind of hard to load, so I got to load it up. But these P mags are awesome. They're affordable. Um, Magpul makes great polymer products. I, I prefer these over the Glocks, price and just I don't know. It's a little dirty, but they run awesome. Uh, I'd like to pick up some ETS mags. I have the ETS speed loader, so. I'd like to compare this one to the regular ETS mag, and then I think ETS actually has a 27 round or two, and I just want to compare them. And then maybe I'll get a Glock mag and a Glock extended uh, fun stick. So yeah, I'll show it with the uh, extended mag in it. It looks pretty funny. So that's the build. I'm sure you guys seen it. I, I shoot it a lot. This is my favorite. This is my baby. I got a new site, new front sight on it. The other video, I, I must have knocked it off, but I just ordered a new front sight. And then I got the Magpul, Magwell as well. Magwell as well, that's funny. But I got the Magpul Magwell, and it has like the, the flaring at the bottom. I love it, so it makes reloads nice and quick. So that's just with the, the regular flush 17 round mag. But yeah. I think this is an amazing, this is just a budget boat I got going on, but I think this is an amazing thing if you got a threaded barrel and you want to throw some on there instead of just a thread protector. So, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this content, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon. Sorry I didn't get any other footage shooting. It is ugly outside. It is snowing again here in Pennsylvania. And right now it's out there, it's sleeting and raining. So, yeah, there's, and I'm, I'm a little cold. I got a little cold going from it all. So there's not going to be any really range footage this week, but stay tuned. we got plenty of other guns to shoot. we got more videos coming up, so take it easy, guys. I love you.
God bless.